Hi, my name is Brittany Green, and I am the CEO and founder of Crown Financial. And I am your personal finance geek of the 21st century, Denzel Rodriguez. Y'all already know me. Hello, and welcome to my Kingdom Citizens, YouTube subscribers, family members, and clients as well. You guys already know Brittany Green for the most part, and if you don't, Brittany and I have been working together for over two years now, solid. She's been helping a lot of my clients with uh, rebuilding credit, right? Establishing credit so that they can eventually, you know, what? Jump into Velocity Bank and come back to me so we can sprint, pay off all that debt extremely fast in a short period of time. So with that being said, Brittany, where are we? <laughs> awesome, awesome. And uh, so far, being at FinCon, it's day two right now as we're recording. What's your biggest takeaway so far? If I had to choose one, it would be all the connections that I'm making. The information is amazing, don't get me wrong, but it's something about these connections that is driving another part of me because it's like I'm scratching the surface and I'm getting so excited about the future partnerships. Um, just being able to meet other companies that I actually use on a day-to-day -day basis with my clients to help them increase their score. So it has to be the connections that I'm making with a lot of these major, major companies. And doesn't it feel extremely easy to like collaborate? I mean, my goodness, just Spreet Singh, again, Minority Mindset was just here collaborating with another YouTube channel that only has 5,000 plus subscribers. That's insane. They would not have got that opportunity had they not been here right. at FinCon. So there's that element of in-person that you never can get rid of. You can go to as many virtual meetups and Zoom meetings, but buying your plane ticket, booking your hotel, buying the ticket to be here, the food, the travel, that does uh, a net a positive profit, I would say. And you may not see it right away. You gotta be patient with it. I mean, you're dealing with a high caliber of people, you know, coming in uh, 50 subscribe, 50,000 subscribers, 100,000, 200,000, million, and, and just keeps going up. So that's awesome. Now, do you have any cool stories so far? Any cool experiences being at FinCon? Anything you wanna share? Yes, my uh, most exciting part is, well, number one, I met a buddy here and it's our first time coming in and he and I are in like the same industry of, you know, financial literacy and educating students. So because that was our niche of like, hey, we're educating, you know, college students or young adults, let's go around and make as many partnerships and things like that that we can. So we did a cool like on the spot interview earlier with self and that's one of the companies that I use on a day-to-day -day basis with my clients to build credit and establish credit from nothing so we sat at this same table and did an impromptu meeting and interview and we did um, some photos we got some shirts and now we have some influencer packages that are you know on the way up so it's just been one of those things where it's like the impromptu um, something someone said this to me just say yes to everything and I'm like someone asked me something I'm like yes let's do it you want to go have coffee let's do it you want to have drinks let's do it so it's been the impromptu yeses that have landed me the best relationships that I've only gotten on day two yes and I must say FinCon puts you in an environment to say yes where you have the time to go to lunch for like two hours and come back and come to an event. I mean, they, they really have, I liked how they've structured it over the next four days. Plenty of time to go eat, plenty of time to grab coffee, plenty of time to ask someone to dinner, plenty of time to set up a meetup, like on site. I can't tell you how many people I've been setting up meetups, like in addition to the meetups that, are, <laughs> that have been going on. So that's really cool. I'll share one story, just like my experience being here at FinCon. I was at a podcaster's meetup, which they're like right over there recording and doing. So we'll get some collabs as well with them. But I, uh, so I was at a podcaster's meetup. This is after day one of the event last night. And, you know, we're outside of like a, you know, like a bar, like a, um, one of those like beer breweries. And there's a lady, you know, crossing the street. She comes by, walks right up to me. She's like, what, what are all these people doing here? I'm like, this is the podcaster's meetup. I'm like, but I'm a YouTuber. And she's like, what are you doing here? I'm like, it's collab, you know? You gotta, I'm, this, I'm being strategic. And she's like, all right, I'm gonna go grab food. And I'm like, okay, cool. As she said that, I was like, man, I'm kind of getting a little hungry. I'm getting a little hungry. As she's coming back, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna bump into her. Open, transparent, honest. We talked for about 45 minutes from the walk. We found food. We ate gyros. She had a falafel. It was amazing conversation. Then she introduces me to 
three to four other YouTubers in the 30 plus K, 40 plus K range. And I'm like, wow, that, that interaction it all started with a simple question, which led to a four hour discussion wow. that led to like, you know, 10, 11 o'clock at night. And I was, by that point I was burnt out. So I was like, let me shut it down. So one tip for those that attend an event like FinCon was a lot of networking, a lot of connections. You're saying yes, 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 yes. Be sure to have a system in place to follow up with everyone and hold your word. If you're going to say yes, do it. Be honest if you can't. There was a lady I was connecting with. I, I initially started the conversation. She was like, wait a minute. I have to say uh, my brain is fried. I have to go to sleep. I'm sorry. I'm not going to introduce myself, but would love to connect again maybe tomorrow when I'm re-energized. I said, that's good. I appreciate that. You know, you're not you're not being forced. So it was it's, it's super open, honest and transparent. So what I love about being here in person at FinCon, my goodness, getting back into in-person events, I think is super important. So with that being said, any closing remarks? Yeah, I actually want to add in another tip as well, especially um, because this was something that I felt this morning. Um, ensure that you're when you're going to your in-person conferences again and getting back into the swing of things, pace yourself. Give yourself some time to have that solitude time because I'm an extrovert. Everyone knows me. I'll come up and I'll speak to anyone and, you know, hold a conversation in any faucet. But I realized I was a lot more burnt out easily. Um, and I think that it's because of, you know, being at home alone all the time, you know, with the pandemic and then just jumping out into such a major event like this. So be sure to pace yourself when you need some time on um, downtime. Take that time. But then when it's time to get back out in front of everyone and doing things, get back out there. Yeah, and be intentional because even you, you, you know, last the other night I was like, where are you going? You like to sleep? <laughs> I said, all right, I respect that, you know, and get your sleep because Brittany's a type extrovert. So she's very intentional with every conversation. Don't just don't just come to an event and be a, you know, a, a fly on the wall. Don't just come to a session and sit in the same seat every time. Don't just, uh, you know, when you're in the lobbies and stuff, don't be looking at your phone like be be here, be present. And it's tough to do. Even I walk with my phone and so because I'm a little I, I'm a little introverted, so I get a little nervous. But even I will step out of my shell and I, I, I try to hit a quota, talk to 10 people talk to 20 people hit that goal and once you've surpassed you've, you've accomplished it say at your second day well now you're in the profit day three and day four so I'm already in the profit in terms of my quota and the amount of people I wanted to talk to the amount of business cards I wanted to collect and the amount of conversation follow-ups that I want to have and potential collaborations on my channel so with that being said this is your finance geek Brittany Green we've got a great relationship I'm Velocity Banking Infinite Banking Kingdom Authority Brittany's you know, preparing you for credit building, credit repair, credit restoration, leveraging your credit to either do velocity banking to pay off debt to invest or just simple debt snowball strategies, leveraging credit cards, the points, the miles, the travel, all of that. So you guys already know where to check her out. Links below in my description. Um, and God bless. Good to see you guys again. And thank you as always. Awesome. Awesome.